This is a Craft Tool B802. I'm going to bevel around my cut in design here. This is an oak leaf and acorn design that I came up with. I've cut it in to both sides of my uh, saddle jockey and uh, got it cut in. And now at this time, I'm going to use a B802 and a B803 craft tool. Um, that's the two tools that I'll be using to bevel around all my cut in here. Um, after that, I'll come back in vain and uh, bruise my, uh, uh, and then uh, use a pear shader to uh, sh do my shading and then uh, put in my cut marks on all the tooling. Then um, I'll use a background tool to uh, put a matte finish in the background. See, the way I do my beveling is I kind of uh, overlay the tool. I don't do it like stamp it there and then move it over. That makes it real choppy like that. So what I do is I overlay it and have a lot of taps with my maw. And it doesn't hurt to come back and smooth out any uh, um, any rough spots in there. It really doesn't hurt to do that. This is the B802. I just got through using the B803 crack tool. you'll notice I keep one finger down very low on the tool and um, try to describe this um, I kind of keep it like it's if you will with uh, imagine with me um, if this tool was spring loaded it would pop back up so what I'm doing is um, I keep the tool down on the leather, but at the same time, I let it kind of float, uh, kind of pull it back up. And w when I strike the tool with the uh, the maul, it, it makes the impression. trying to hide the tool it's just my technique that I use to uh, do my beveling you will develop a feel on how to, uh, to tap your um, beveler There'll be times that you want to lighten up, and then there'll be times you want to hit the tool a little heavier. I 
I'd say on my stems I lighten up a little bit especially towards the end and then like on my oak leaves I um, strike the uh, tool fairly heavy because I want the oak leaf to stand up uh, pretty tall Occasionally, you'll have your tool to uh, bounce up out of there and strike your leaf where you don't want it, and then you can uh, kind of smooth that out a little bit. And the main thing is don't worry about it too much, but you can smooth it that out. I would like to thank you for watching this tutorial on beveling around my tooled leather there. Hopefully you picked up some tips and technique there. You're welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'd appreciate a thumbs up and you can leave your comments in the section below here. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.